I wrote this piece because I want to make peace with the fact that the act of standing before you must fit with the rhyme scheme and theme that seems to be what we poets call slam. I stand up and recite what took many a night to engrave on my brain, which to you might seem plain, but that's because I accidentally buried the spice, and now I've got to get you to bite in order to taste it. Slam. A form of poetry where the art isn't showing depth on the surface because you can't press pause, nor silence applause, nor show subtitles, or cute diagrams with notes in the margins. The only notes that I have to share will tell you that I'm a writer, not a singer. Here, I'm forced to wear a heart on my sleeve, but what happens when I want to touch with the untouchable or love with the unlovable? So like a liar. Bird, I mimic all I hear. I'm a thief who steals belief by hiding honesty in hospitable seeming holes, and I sing. I sing to play the game. I sing to be heard. I sing a song so desperate to mingle my memes and yours for high scores and more exposure. So I maintain composure while composing beats to which I can't tap my feet because that's how it's done. If it's fun to hear, then it can't possibly be poetry, or because a futurist said, make it new, though we knew there's nothing new under the sun. Or maybe I just misplaced a K, okay? So let me say that again slowly. He said, make it new, stop the beat, though we knew we're too old. There's nothing new in hip-hop feet. What a waste of time seeking out the sublime in a trick or two for a simple number from a few of you who'll struggle to rank my lines between rank and fine, then hold up the signs that will enshrine my designs or resign them. The yawning gap between my teeth and your ears makes me grind my gears in order to prey on your fears or squeeze tears that sympathize with my peace, whose length I've increased to include all these thoughts now deceased post-ritual spiritual release and I'll cease just before the stopwatch strikes three. A nice number, just long enough to keep your attention on me, then free your minds from the grip of my imagination, giving others a chance for participation in our hallucination of a nation of image making ages and manipulation, a nation that doesn't stand a chance in the world outside because nobody's listening, a world that's become over-immersed in verse, which is both a blessing and a curse as our literacy improves while our content becomes less contentious and thoughtless words fly through the ether like birds of prey hunting meager morsels. Love is just a like and a share away, but there aren't very many real people left with whom to play. I laid waste two days as I came up with a phrase so becoming of praise that you'll let me stay on the stage for one more song, for one more chance to prove that I belong.